Let's go to the scriptures. Hebrews, the 12th chapter. Once again, all I guess, we are a different church. We are not trying to be like everybody else. We are being what God called us to be, and we're free in God, so we welcome you to uh, Emmanuel, the connection. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, verse 2 through 4. And um, Hebrews, yeah, Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews. You know, um, we've been putting, uh, wearing T-shirts for almost 20, man, 20, about 24 years, 25 years. And we started this 25, about 20, almost 25 years ago because we didn't want people to have to go and spend money, number one, that some of them didn't have, or to make resurrection about what outfit you had on. And I guess if you sharp, hey, I love you being sharp. Come, come back sharp. Hey, we like that. Hey, Amen. No problem. But we didn't want to make it about dress. We wanted to make it about the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And um, so we started this T-shirt. Um, uh, uh, Apostle uh, Flanagan them in um, Atlanta, uh, Douglasville. They they started over to, uh, when we after we started. So they do the same thing. Been doing it for years and years. And a few other churches have caught on um, and not making it about, you know, um, what we have on. We spend more time shopping for Easter than we do praying to our Lord and Savior. Amen. And uh, praise God. Praise God for our, uh, amen, our praise team. Amen. Y'all are blessings. Y'all are awesome band. You are awesome. Awesome. Praise God. I'm going to try not to get too excited. Amen. I have 30 minutes and you'll be out of here. Praise God. Go get you something to eat. Something to drink or whatever, praise God. You, you can go home or whatever. But uh, we're going to try to do this in Jesus' name. All right. Hebrews, the 12th chapter, again, at verse 2 uh, through 4. I'm reading out of the uh, Passion Translation, the Passion Translation. And it says, Hebrews, the, second chap uh, the 12th chapter, excuse me, begin at uh, verse 2. We look away from the natural realm and we focus our attention and expectation on Jesus. Shout expectation. Yeah. On Jesus, who birthed faith within us and who leads us forward in, into faith's perfection. His example is this. Because his heart was focused on, on the joy of knowing that you would be his, he endured the agony of the cross and conquered its humiliation. And now sits exalted at the right hand of the throne of God. So consider carefully how Jesus faced such intense opposition. From sinners who oppose their own souls. So that you won't become worn down and cave in under life's pressures. After all, you have not yet reached the, the point of sweating blood in your opposition to sin. Now King James said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finish of our faith. Who for the joy set before him and do with the cross and despise the shame. I want to talk about today pain to gain. I want to talk about pain to gain. Praise God. And it's such a, a, a beautiful picture of uh, some of y'all got to stand up doing service. That's good. Hey, praise God. Uh, amen. Because it means that God, amen, is moving and we get in that way. Praise God. But in preparation of this, I was praying to God and God spoke to me a few days ago. Now, I maybe said this to some of you. We, we are, many people in the church have came to the place that we only want the sweetness. We don't want any bitterness. We don't want any pain. Pain is distress, is, is suffering, mental and physical. And it's ca caused by anxiety, anguish, grief, disappointment. It's to cause a mental or emotional distress, you know. Um, I don't care how much you try to escape. You won't escape pain. You can, you can hide under the kitchen table and pain will follow you there. Pain, you're going to ex experience some of that in your life. Amen. You know, uh, it just, just being born of God. Y'all follow me? And what has happened is, is that we have conditioned our minds to every time we're in pain to run and retreat. And we celebrate the resurrection of Yeshua HaMashiach. Now, technically, you know, Jesus got up out the grave, sundown going down about around 6 o'clock in Israel last night. Okay, praise God. He went on the cross sundown Wednesday, went Thursday one, one day, 
Friday one day, I mean two days, Saturday three days, bam. When the sun was going down, okay, uh, um, Shabbat Masia they call it, bam, Jesus about the grave. But, but just think if he ran from the pain. Our sins would not be covered on today. If he ran from the pain, then, then praise God, you wouldn't have a freedom and a power inside of you. It says looking unto Jesus, who for the joy set before him and do it to cross. And we have to recondition our mind not to run from some pain. We had a, we had a, we had a coach, he was assistant coach at, at Austin High School, and uh, he, 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 coached, uh, he coached actually uh, 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 Pastor Keith, you know, because I was, I was, a, I was a, 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 a defensive back, but Keith was on defense, and uh, his name is Coach Yates. And Coach Yates would say almost every single day, we called him the Yates Mates. <laughs> no pain, no gain. And that's why, that's why you, you know, doing two days in the summertime in Alabama. It's 100 degrees outside. And you got pads on and helmets on. Okay, and you're sweating and you're, and it's, you're hurting and you're cramping up because you ain't drunk enough water. You have not had enough uh, potassium in your body. And, and, uh, and you just, you just in pain, anguish. And Coach Jake would say, no pain, no gain. And I want to tell you today, if you don't hear anything I say today, because of the pain and anguish of Jesus suffering on the cross, Glory to God. We, we, we gain life, praise God. Now, the deal of the matter is, praise we, 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 we have these nice crosses. They're real nice. They look real good. But this is not how the cross was. It was called an executionary stake. It was the worst type of punishment you could give anybody. Matter of fact, if you was a Roman citizen, you, you could not be executed, praise God. Because citizens did not know you, you, that form of, of, of execution was not for Roman citizens. That's how bad it was. Because wasn't it just the person on the cross? It was, it, it was what happened before they got to the cross. It was the beating it all night long. You got to understand that the pain that Jesus Christ went through, okay, it started right around midnight. Praise God. Are y'all following me? They were beating him and, and doing all these kind of crazy things at 3 o'clock a.m. Because it was unfair, it was unjust, it was unlawful for what they did. Amen. Couldn't even recognize him. Could not recognize him. I mean, he'd be so bad you couldn't even recognize who he was. I mean, face all beat, beat up. I mean, body all beat up. Back all tore up like a, like a slave never felt before. Bible said he never said a word. King James said mumbling word. Are y'all following me? And so you, you, we got to uh, attribute pain to where we're going. Now, I want to tell you something. I don't like pain. I don't like being in pain. But, but, but if without the pain, as C.C. Uh, uh, Sienna danced earlier, you, the, the blood can't really cover you. If you ain't willing to go through what the blood needs you to go through. Blood got to cover you, but you got to go through some pain. You can't escape it. He, he's not, Jesus was the example. Are y'all following me? How many of you want to gain something in life? I know I do. But you're going to have to go through some pain. Success is going to cost you something. Success is not a million dollars. It's not a house on a hill. It's you fulfilling the mandate on your life. And it's going to cost you something, and it's going to be painful. If you got any type of degree, certificate, or, or, or even a high school diploma, you went through some times that, was, that probably there's a little pain. Staying up late at night, getting, you know, getting up in the morning. Somebody said, I ain't do none of that. That's probably why you were yet. <laughs> I love you. I love you. I'm Doc Rock. I love you. Okay, but, you, but, but, but see, when, see, I tell people, if you're, willing, if you're willing to pay today, you'll get paid tomorrow. But if you play today, you have to pay tomorrow. Be because, because, because the pain that you're going through will take you to the next level. You see, you are who you are under pressure. Glory to God. And so you need pressure situations to tell you where you're at in God to get you where God wants you to be at. How many of you have been heartbroken before? Yeah, we all have. How, how, how many of you cried before? We all have. How many somebody that you thought was your good friend, your confidant, stabbed you in the back before? Yeah, we all have. Yeah. It was painful. How many of you lost a loved one? Maybe a mother, maybe a father, maybe somebody close to you, maybe a grandma or something. It was painful. 
listen, listen, when, 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 when Sally Jackson left him, it was painful. Amen. Amen. When, when Mo left him, it was pain. Y'all ain't saying that. It was painful. It was painful. I, I thought I was doing good. I was outside one day at the house. Thought I was doing real good. Bam, it hit me. I mean, pain shook me down to my knees outside. Where did that come from? It was painful. But glory to God. But the pain don't compare to the glory. I'm telling you that. Some of you ladies, uh, praise God, you got had, had kids. Painful. Now, I know some of you probably, you know, now you got cesarean, maybe a little different, may not have been as much as pain. But, uh, but, the, but, the, but the natural birth, painful. Cesarean ain't nothing to joke with either. Uh, Dr. Jim, you're a doctor. It's painful, praise God. Right? Praise God. But, but after the birth, I'm going to come to the scripture. But after the birth, all the pain that the mom went through. I was there when, when my kids was born. I was in the hospital, in, in, in there with Dr. Dr. Audra, all three of them. And, 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 and uh, Brianna was the first. And it was painful. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. And, and the epidural went the other way. And they had to sit the Audra up so it should have numbing down and numbed up. So they had to sit up right quick. Amen. And, and she was in a lot of pain. And, and, and the doctor told me, the nurse come in and say, when, she, when, when, it hit, when the, the contractions hit, let me know. And, 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 and I started letting them know. Then I, I, just started, I just started saying, shh, don't tell them, shh. <laughs> it's a true story. I, I can't make it up. And, and, but the pain would hit her. And she, would, she, would, she had my hand. And I, I thought she was going to break my knuckles. <laughs> I'm like, like my, I'm, I'm too dark for it to be red. But it was red. <laughs> It was, I mean, I mean, it was just like, bam, ah, I'm like, babe, babe, babe. You know, I'm trying to be supportive. I'm trying to be that good, uh, that coach and that, that, that good husband. And the pain was there, and, 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 and Brianna, you know, it was hard to come out, and, the, you know, I'll never get, they got that suction thing, they poop, pull out of it. She had a cone head. They said, oh, we got a cone head. My eyes got this big. I said, Lord, have mercy. I said, Lord, have mercy. Then they, they said, no, it'll, it'll go back to, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 but as soon as she came out and the pain relieved, the first thing that Dr. Audrey want to do is give me my baby. Because the pain is nothing to, do, to be compared to the glory and the blessing. And I want to let you know if you hear nothing today, the pain that you're going through. Jesus already went through it, praise God. But the glory on the other side of your tears, on the other side of you crying, on the other side of your disappointment, on the other side of your pain, on the other side, praise God, of somebody messing with you. Ah! Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm supposed to be teaching. Okay, okay, I'm supposed to be teaching. Matthew 26, yeah, let's go there. Because I, I, need, I need to talk about something. Somebody shout pain the game. Don't let this world condition you to run from pain. Embrace it. Matthew 26, 36 through 39. I want to read, then I'm going to read 42 through 44. Verse 36, Matthew, Matthew 26, verse 36 says, Then Jesus led his disciples to an orchard called the Olive Press. Now, I've been there. I've been there in Israel. Hopefully, it came to group next year. It's going to blow y'all mind. He told them, sit here while I go and pray nearby. He took Peter and Jacob and John with him. However, an intense feeling of great sorrow plunged his soul into agony. And he said unto them, my heart is overwhelmed and crushed with grief. Now, here's Jesus Christ. He is crushed with grief. And you think you're not, you're not going to be crushed at times? It feels as though I'm dying. Wow. Stay here and keep watch with me. Then he walked a short distance away and overcome with grief. He threw himself face down on the ground and prayed, My father, if there is any way you can deliver me from this suffering, please take it from me. You may want to underline that or put it in your mind. Yet what I want is not important. For I only desire to fulfill your plan for me. Then an angel from heaven appeared to strengthen him. Mm. Verse, verse 42. 
Then he left them for a second time to pray in solitude. He said to God, my father, if there is not a, is, if there is not a way that you can deliver me from this suffering, then your will must be done. He came back to the disciples and found them asleep, for they couldn't keep their eyes open. Verse 44. He left them and went away to pray the same prayer for a third time. For a third time. The same prayer for a third time. Now, you, now, now this is Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. You would have thought that he already know what the deal is. Because he was born to die. Yeah, remember, they were slaying lambs and he goes and she goes, okay, on the day of atonement and all that. And, and God said, it's not good enough. I need a perfect lamb. Yeah. Suit up, Jesus. Oh. Went down through 42 generations. Yeah. Boom. To be born in Bethlehem. Amen. Right? Why? Why? To die. He, didn't, he wasn't born to live. He was born to die. Now, Jesus, knowing this, why is he asking God if it's your will, remove it from me? I'm in agony. I want to die. Because he's 100% God and he's 100% man. Now, why is he 100% man? Why did God just sh let Jesus show up out the blue? Because he had to go through what you go through. That's why we can look unto him for what he did. He had to be born. He had to be a child. He had to play kickball. <laughs> he had to shoot marbles. Come on, you ain't saying it. Hello. If he was born today, he'd be, he'd be on PlayStation and Xbox. <laughs> He's not some milk. He was 100% man. Okay, remember 12 years old, they looking for him, they had, uh, went, went, uh, went, went back to Nazareth, he ain't there, okay, they find him, praise God, and he's talking about, about my father's business. We ain't hear from him for, for, for an, another uh, 18 years. <laughs> he's 30. Are y'all with me? He was a, he was a child, are y'all hearing me? But he knew he had to die. He knew the pain. And you got to understand that you're going to go through some pain. But on the other side of your tears. Dr. He just said years ago, on the other side of your pain, on the other side of your tears, are incredible life-changing experiences. Don't you, amen, give up right now. If you're going through hell, don't hold it. Don't, catch hell, don't hold it. If you're going through hell, don't stop. Okay? Don't worry about it. Tell somebody, don't worry about it. But now, now, now let's look at Luke 22 and 44. Luke 22 and 44. It's the, it's each writer of the gospel have a, uh, some different uh, additions that we can, we can pull from. Luke said, recorded in Luke 22 and 44, he prayed even more passionately, like one being sacrificed, because that's what's going to happen, until he was in such intense agony of spirit that his sweat became drops of blood dripping on the ground. Hematidrosis, that's what it is. H-E-M-A-T-I-D-R-O-S-I-S. It is a, it is, it, it is a, uh, uh, comes when you, when you under intense stress. Agony, I talked this before. And now, then your blood, your sweat, okay, get mixed with blood and blood start pouring from your head. That's the agony he was in. Here is our Lord and Savior who raised the dead. Lazarus had been dead for three days. He was stinking. He said, Lazarus, come here. Blind by the males. Son of the males. Heal him. Praise God. Woman with the issue of blood. Twelve young years. Spent all she had. Just the hem of the garment. The ZZ. Heal. And you come to tell me that he's in the garden of Gethsemane and he's sweating drops of blood and he's healed everybody. He's under that much stress. Come on, somebody. He's man. And he's trying to show you that there's going to be times that you're going to sweat. There's going to be times it's going to be painful. There's going to be times it's going to be hard. But the Bible says, not thy will, let thy, not my will, let thy will be done. 
an angel came and strengthened him. Because when you decide that you're going through the pain, angel going to show up. I said, when you decide that you're going to go on through the pain, God's presence is going to show up. See, some of you have threw in the towel before the angel showed up. You threw in the towel right before your breakthrough. It was tough. It was hard. You, hey man, praise God. You went through a bunch of things. Maybe you, may, may, maybe somebody did your own. Maybe, you, may, maybe your spouse, amen, went out on you. But whatever, praise God. It's rough. And you say, I'm, I'm giving up, amen. But you didn't wait for the angel. You didn't wait for the power of God to show up. We've been endured for a night, but joy comes in the morning. You got to wait till, amen, daybreak. I said, we've been doing for a night, but joy shows up in the morning. You got to wait for daybreak. Daybreak is going to show up. The day stuck. You can't give up right now. You can't give up right now. The day stuck going to rise. I said, the day stuck going to rise. Hey. Don't look like I'm going to get too far today. A couple things, I'm going to let you go. We got to understand the importance of today. It's not about a rabbit. It's not about clothes. Definitely about, not about eggs. I like a boiled egg. My grandma used to make pickle eggs. People used to buy them. Yeah. I like a little egg. Yeah. But today ain't about an egg. No. The egg showed up because, amen, Easter comes from a very pagan goddess, the goddess of Esther. Right. Esther, the goddess of fertility. And it was said that she rolled up on the sea, uh, okay, and an egg, poof, and how she come. And eggs, okay, represent, and, and rabbits represent fertility. Get some rabbits together, they have a bunch of babies. And that's where we get that from. And you see, people don't. And that's why even the, uh, the, uh, key, the new King James Version of the Bible don't even have Easter. It has Passover. We're in Passover season. Matter of fact, today is a feast of Berkerim, a feast of first fruits. Because what's important about today is that he got up. Nothing else. Somebody said, well, you're going to ruin the kids' Easter. That's the problem. This is, this, is, this, is, this is not about your kids. They have a birthday and all that. This is not about your kids. You, can't, you, know, you, you should have made it by them. You're going to ruin it. No, no, no. You let the world do that. You let Walmart and picking, uh, and, and, praise God, and, and, and other places. Let me read you a scripture, praise God, so you know what I'm talking about. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians, and I love all the kids, and you, and you, if you gave them a basket and you promised it, go on, give it, don't lie to them, go on, give it. <laughs> but next year, <laughs> 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, verse 20 through 22 says, but the fact is, Christ has been raised from the dead. The first fruits of those who are asleep. Yes. For since by one man death came. You don't have this guy, so you don't have to look for him. I'm sorry, I didn't get this one to you. By a man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. Let me read this again so because you don't you don't have it on the screen unless you're in your Bible. First Corinthians 15, 22, 22. But the fact is, Christ has been. Raised from the dead. That's the fact. The first fruits of those who are asleep. For since by one man death came, that's Adam, first one, by a man also came the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ all will be made alive. So here's the deal Jesus came that you would die a death but live his life. That's why we say we are born again. 
Nicodemus came. He, he, was, a, he was a Pharisee, only 6,000 Pharisees on earth at one time. He said, he said how, much I, how, 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 how can I be saved? Jesus said, you got to be born again. He said, now, he's an educated man. Pharisee, only 6,000 on the earth at one time. He said, do I go back in my mother's womb? She said, no. They'll be born of fire in me, of the Holy Spirit. Are y'all following me? Yeah. The problem is, we don't know that we're born again. It's time for you to live and not just survive. I said, it's time for you to live and not just survive. But that happens through you accepting the death and resurrection of Jesus, and it was more than one man on the cross. Oh, Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. We all are on the cross. All on the cross. Crucified. Dead. Buried. Crucified. Dead. Buried, quickened, raised, seated, crucified, dead, buried, quickened, raised, seated. Six. Six is the number of man. That's why we had the six million dollar man. We bury man six feet under. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. Six is the number of man. See, because God is trying to deal with man. He's trying to deal with you walking on this earth as Jesus walked in authority. If you don't get anything today, understand that Easter, which I don't say that word, resurrection, is all about you living in the power of God. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. It's, it's about you living in the power of God. Matter of fact, Ephesians, don't worry about quoting, uh, putting it up there. Ephesians, the first chapter, verses 17 to around about 22, talks about how God raised Jesus from the dead and gave the power of resurrection. He gave that back to the church. Most theologians say God creating the world is not the greatest thing that God ever done. The greatest thing that God ever did was raise Jesus from the dead. That's why upon his resurrection, the, the sun didn't even shine. Bodies got up in the Kidron Valley and started walking. Hello, somebody. I mean, the temple was rent in, in half. Why? Because some great is getting ready to happen. Tell somebody, some great getting ready to happen. Now, you can't get to the great without going through the pain. Tell somebody, embrace the pain. You got, listen, you're going to suffer just for just for a little while. You're going to suffer just, somebody, just for a little while. Yeah, just for a little while. Then some great going to come on you, praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible declares in James, James, uh, uh, the first chapter, verse 2 through 4. James, uh, first chapter, verse 2 through 4. My fellow believers, when it seems as though you are facing nothing but difficulties, see it as an uh, in invaluable opportunity to experience the greatest joy that you can. For you know that when your faith is tested, it stirs up in you the power of endurance. And then as your endurance grows even stronger, it will release. It will, trust me, it will release. It will release perfection into every part of your being until there is nothing missing and nothing lacking. Are y'all getting this? Leave it up there for a second, guys. When you, when, when you let your endurance, when, tell somebody, when you, when you go through, see, when you go through, when you, when you endure pain, suffering, okay, when, when, when things don't seem like right, when it seems like, you know, you're all alone, I mean, you feel like giving up, I mean, it's rough, it's tough, it's, it's crazy, oh my God, what I'm going to do, you're going to trust God. You feel like throwing up your hands. You feel like throwing in the towel. You, you feel like cussing. Come on, tell me. You feel like a cuss, amen. You're mad. Come on, talk to me, people. Let's be real today. You're mad. But when you get to that place, amen, it releases perfection. When it's rough, Alex, it releases perfection. When it's tough, you're real. It releases perfection. It's a every part of your Until there is somebody shout nothing. Nothing missing and nothing lacking. God trying to get you to a place of nothing missing and nothing lacking. 
Your friends trying to pull you out of your, uh, out of your situation. Your friends are not helping you. They're trying to get you off the wheel. God got you on the wheel. What do I mean by that? God, amen, have you out there by yourself sometimes. God have you going through pain and agony. He allow it. Here's why he's allowed. He's allowed it to build you. He's trying to get gold out of you. Bruce, Michelle, he's trying to get gold out of y'all. He's letting you go through some things, praise God. Because you're getting ready to get to no lack street. You're getting ready to get to nothing missing street. You get ready, praise God, to get on, amen, a perfected boulevard. Somebody shout, endure the pain. It's going to be all right. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be all right. We've been going to do it for a night. Joy going to come in the morning. The pain, the pain, the pain. That's all you now. I've been through some pain. It's been rough. It's been tough. We want to give up on life. Marriage, it all. But I'm going through, baby. I'm going through. Anybody going through, baby? I'm going through. Jesus already showed me on the backside. Ladies, on the backside. Well, on the backside. On the backside, what you done? Mom, on the backside. Woman, on the backside. God, get ready to show up. You see, you see, I'm just talking. I'm not just talking. I'm telling you, God's getting ready to show up. Resurrection is about you getting up. There is no resurrection without a crucifixion. There is not a resurrection neither without some pain. All the pain. All the pain. The pain, the pain, the pain. You gotta learn to embrace the pain. You gotta learn to say, okay, pain, I got you. But I ain't throwing in the towel. I see you. But I'm not giving up. I got somewhere to go. Anybody got somewhere to go? God got something for your life. Now use our teach this. But today, I just feel like exhorting you, praise God. Because I think you need to be exhorted. How do you go through the pain? Trusting in God. Trusting in what told you. You see, most people see the glory. Oh, she's an overnight success. He's an overnight success. There are no overnight successes. You didn't see the midnight oil burning. You didn't see me stand up late at night. You didn't see me get up early in the morning. You didn't see the sacrifice. Oh, Doc, but you didn't see the sacrifice. You didn't see the, the loneliness. Being alone. Nobody to call on but God. Have anybody been to a place there was nobody to call on but God? This is what resurrection is about. Paul. Paul said, oh, to know it. And the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his suffering. You got to learn the fellowship with suffering. Come here, Brandon. Come here, Chief. Come here, Tony. You see, if you are suffering, and you are suffering, and you represent suffering. I can't run. If you're suffering, I got to learn the fellowship with you. I got to learn how to fellowship with something that don't feel as good. Something that's hard. I don't like you, but I know you there. Not to kill me. You there to build me. I don't like you, pain. I don't want no part of you. But I'm going to fellowship with you. Yes. Yes. I don't like that. That didn't feel good. 
but I got something greater coming. I'm here right now today in Huntsville, Alabama, the Rocky City. But my mind, my spirit is down the road getting what God has for me. I don't like the pain, but I'm going to embrace you. What's up, pain? You got to get pain or high five. What's up, pain? You got to get a brother here. I don't like you. I don't like you. But I need you. If I'm going where I'm going, I'm sweating like Jesus. It's rough. It's tough. It's hard. Oh, God. Help me. Remove it. God said, I ain't removing nothing. I'm not removing anything. Break it down some, guys. They got to hear me. Hallelujah. I'm not removing anything. Paul said, that's a throwing I got. Jesus, I ain't let, I, I ain't removing it. I ain't removing it. I ain't going to do it. My grace is sufficient enough. It'll cover you. It'll help you. Can I help somebody? I need to say this to some of you who don't know who I am. I teach executives and people all around the world. I'm not bragging on that. But I teach them how to train their people and themselves how to go through hard times. How to look within themselves to find the power within. Now I tell them, I got a supernatural power. It's just who I am, I tell them. I'm telling you, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And I'm telling you, you're bigger than your problem. You're bigger than your problem. I'm sorry, ladies, come up here, pastors. Let's integrate this thing. Hallelujah. You're bigger than your problem. I just want the pastors to come on, y'all, come on. Let's keep it, come on. I just, that's all good. You're bigger than your problem. But you got to understand, I don't like none of y'all. Y'all pain. I don't like none of y'all. Sometimes pain is all around you. Sometimes pain is all from the side. Of you. Come on, yeah, yeah. See, because these pastors are from the watch. But pain gonna be there. What you gonna do with it? I'm gonna look to Jesus. Just because you behind me, you ain't stopping me. So because you're beside me, you ain't stopping me. I'm going to make you my friend still. I'm going to use you to step up. I'm going to use you to get higher. So before you go today, when pain show up this evening, so God already told me through Doc Rock, you are defeated. Great is he. That's in you. The heat is in the world. First John 4 and 4. So go ahead and get to your game. How many want to get to your game? Embrace the pain. And you're going to get your game. It's not over until I win. It's not over until I win. And 2,000 years ago, he showed up on the scene, Terry. He already told them, I'm coming to bring my kingdom. They didn't believe it. They thought he was telling the tale. And they thought he had it. Oh, no, they thought they had him. Gave him a kangaroo trial. Marching from Amos to Caiaphas was back to Amos. Lots of the pilot. Unfair. Tradition doing Passover, you give up somebody. 
a thief. They gave him a murderer over Jesus. But it's cool. It's cool. You need to know. Yeah, you sacrifice it now. They're not sacrificing. Don't worry about it. Your blessing get ready to come. They put him on the cross. They thought it was over. It ain't over until you win. Are you hearing me? They thought it was over. Six to the ninth hour. From nine to twelve to three o'clock. He's on the cross. He's bleeding. He's dying. But it ain't over. It ain't over. He dies. Shout out Eli, Eli, Lama, Mount Sabathany. My God, my God, why thou forsaken me? It's over, they think. Tell your neighbor, it ain't over. They buried him. They thought it was over. But it ain't over. See, some of you think it's over because they think you dead. They think your business dead. They think your entrepreneurship is dead. They think your ministry is dead. They think your, praise God, your future is dead. Just because you got pain, just because you went to jail, just because you did something wrong, just because you messed up, just because, amen, you blew it. We all blew it. Katie, it ain't over. They forgot. I will be in the grave as Jonah was in the well on the third day. CJ, I'm getting up. Control, I'm getting up. Dion, I'm getting up. On the third day. He got up. It ain't over until we win. No pain, no gain. We win. We say we win. We win. And you got to know that you win yeah. and everything. I don't know his brother back here, but God told me to bless you. I, I don't know who you are. If you never come here again, that's fine. But I don't know what, what, what you get ready to do in life. I don't know what God called you to do. But 20 is the number of expectation. And you need to start expecting God to do something in your life. It ain't over. I'm telling you from the power of God, I don't know you. I ain't trying to call you out or nothing like that. I don't do that, brother. It ain't over. God's going to bless you. You got, you got some business in you. I said, you got some business in you. It ain't over. It ain't over. It ain't over until you win. And I'm telling you, we win today. We win today. I'm done. Y'all can for a second. But we win today. Glory to God. We win the power of God. I, I come on up here since I elders up here. Come on. Hallelujah. We win today. We win. You gotta know we just we win. Now, Father God, there's all our elders and all are standing behind us, God. God, we pray your anointing. God, we pray your power. God, we pray your deliverance. God, we pray your glory upon them right now Lord we love you and God we bless you God there may be a person here today they don't know you in this part of their sins but they want you Jesus if you are here today and you are not saved but you want God to come into your life I want you just lift that hand to God And repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner. But I want you in my life. I believe your word. Romans 10 and 9 says, If you confess your mouth to the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, God, raise him from the dead, you shall be saved. And that's you today. Come into my heart, God, and save me. If you say that simple prayer, you are saved. Put your hands together for those that got saved. <laughs> you are saved. 
saved. So my elders are going to be out here. Ministers going to be out here. At the Connect Center. They take your name and information. We get ready to have a big, big baptism of people who've been baptized and going to be baptized. have a celebration. We're going to have it up here on the stage very, very soon. Connors is working on that right now. What's up? Hallelujah. You want to join this ministry, go to our website. Go to our Connect Center after the service. And you'll be part of our ministry. But I want you to know something. You're getting ready to gain. All the stuff you've been through. All the things you've been through. God's going to bless you. Bless your pastors. Hallelujah. I'm telling your mom she can come up. Yes. Hallelujah. God is great. God is awesome. We had our course, Pastor Dr. Franken there and mom there. We, amen. Praise God. God will do something magnificent in your life. How many believe that? It's Resurrection Sunday. I call it Super Sunday. I'm Doc Rod. You better join me at the top. Because that's where he's at. That's where he's at. God bless you. We love you. Dr. Ozzy going to come do our announcement. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. I think I text it to you. Amen. are back man Whoa. was that not an awesome message on today i am still blown Listen, away oh no yeah. pain <sighs> no gain he talked about pain yeah i think i said earlier if i told you all my testimony he so reminded me today you've gone through the pain girl yeah yeah go through the pain Whatever you have to endure, That's endure. Right. Cause I promise endure you, it. on the other side, on of the that other thing, side of it is glory. Ooh. There shall be glory after this, exceedingly, hey, abundantly, abundantly, above all what the we ask, think, or imagine. Ooh, listen, come on. listen. Hey, when he was talking about, I didn't see it that way. He was like through the fellowship of his suffering, it's a fellowship with your pain. Ooh, I just see myself dancing through the trial, Ooh. dancing with my pain, dancing while I'm going through because I know on the other side. <sighs> Man, I just think about all that I've been through and all the yes. pain that I've been through yes. for the past few years. Yeah. And I, you know what? God's glory yes. is showing up now. Ooh, I'm is. still here. I'm still standing because you know now. what? Dance with the pain. Yeah. I fellowship with the pain. Wow. It hurt. Oh, yeah. I was suffering. Don't get me wrong. Right. You be wanting to give up. But if you just stick with it, I'm telling you, you're at the brink of your breakthrough. Shoot. Don't throw it in the towel Do now. Don't throw it in. You're right there. Yes. Stay with it. Stick with it. Yes. Man, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. There's a, there, uh, my sister said, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes. And you will make it through. And so when I was going through the hardest, toughest times of my life, and I'll tell you this, this quick testimony. So when my children's father left me for another woman, that was painful. That was some severe pain. Mm -hmm. But I remember I kept in the back of my mind, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Light at the end of the tunnel. And you'll make it through. And that carry me. Yes. Get your word to stand yes. on when you're going yes. through what you're going through. Man. May God love on you when you're going through yes. what you're going through. Because I promise when he bring you out, baby, what he said when the, when the, when the mom is travailing. Oh, y'all know my daughter just yes. had a baby. It was hard. <laughs> hey, but when listen, he came out. 
Oh, we ain't thought we ain't said nothing my else baby. about that. My, it's my Give baby. Give me I my, my baby. baby. Yes, <laughs> yes. So it's going to be well worth it because yes. what you're about to birth, Ooh. it's going to be Ooh. so great. In many days now. Not yes. many days now. Yes. Yes. Get ready. Get ready. <laughs> Don't get ready. What Apostle Wright told us. I'm already yes. ready. Be ready. Already be ready. ready. Yes. Girl. Well, we're back at the Connect Zone. I'm Pastor Cabrela. I'm here with... Minister Stacy, yes. we are here. Hallelujah. We have so enjoyed this time, this resurrection celebration. If you yes. see us with our t-shirts on today, he spoke of that. Listen, we have some extra t-shirts if you don't have any. You can see Pastor Marcy or Pastor Brandon for your t-shirts. This t-shirt says, year a year of, of impact. impact. Because we're making an impact. Huge. Yes. Big. Big. And Hallelujah. it's going to be big yes, yes yes i hope you believe that it's going to be big in your life hey i do want to just let you know um that this week we will not have in person eti but we will be having our connect groups Ooh, connect i think groups both so me good. and stacy lead a connect group uh -huh. i lead the young adult connect group so uh -huh. if you would like to join our young adult connect group you can go to the website which is emmanueltheconnection.com and sign up for a connect group and stacy i think she is over singles, the singles ministry yes. hey listen Listen, if you're single, you ready to mingle yeah. now. <laughs> Join our connection. We talk about single things. We talk yeah. about married things. We talk about the whole A to Z. If you really want to get connected and really yeah. get with some real people that's going to talk some real mm -hmm. stuff, mm -hmm. join our connect. Mm -hmm. Join us. Listen, we're talking about single because both of us are single. Right. But um, I was listening to Dr. Arisha Hilliard, who is a single pastor. And she was talking about how, you know what, you just have to enjoy your time. With yes. You. She said, set a table for two. Ooh. And at that table is you and God. So I've been enjoying my table. Yes. There, there is something to be said about celebrating you. Because yes. when you're whole and you're full, God gonna bring God will bring someone into your life. But you gotta be you whole. You gotta be whole. You gotta celebrate you. You yes. gotta know that God broke yes. the mold when he yes. made you, baby. Yes. And then you don't have to look <laughs> like this or that. God made you. You are fearfully That's and wonderfully right. made. That's Embrace right. that yes. about yourself. We Amen. enjoy us some of Oh, yes. I enjoy me some look, I done got so I don't get my me Meantime, yeah, I don't feel right. right. Like you a bad Come on. Girl, yes, girl. honey. You better say that. God shows it. Uh, Royal. Hello. 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 Listen, <laughs> listen, listen. Hey, this has been really good. Um, also, just want to just let you know. Um, also, if you have not given, oh, listen. we have ways to give. Listen. We have ways to give. Yes. First, let me just say this. If you gave your life to Christ, which Ooh. is an important thing during the resurrection, season and you want to experience this same resurrection power you want to experience jesus the way we are experiencing jesus you yes. if you accepted christ into your life today and pray that prayer we just want to rejoice with Hallelujah. you yes heaven is rejoicing because yes and I'm going to tell you, that will, that is the best decision you could have ever made. Agreed. Watch God do some great and awesome things in your life. Also, if you want to become a laborer of yes. Emmanuel The Connection, you can go to EmmanuelTheConnection.com yes. and make that known. You can fill out that information to become a laborer, which is also a member. We just say laborers because we're not just coming here to be a name. Right. We don't come and sit. Put our we, name on the serve. ballot. Yes, but we, we come here it. to serve. We come here to give our giftings and our talents so that we can be a blessing kingdom yes. so we just want you if you want to become a laborer come on connect with us here at the connection and become that laborer i'm telling you we're about to do some great things Ooh, we're about to lunch off so come it's on brewing. and lunch off with us it's brewing. yes yes but if you have your tithes and offering yes you can give those tithes and offering we do have that on the screen those ways to donate yes. and you can donate by cash app and you can also that donate by paypal yes. now if you're coming here in the building and you want to bring in your money we we will accept the kind of money that folds. Yes. You know, the kind of jingle. A little hard, yeah, but we will accept <laughs> it all. The folded, the jingles, all of it. We'll accept it. And I'm praying that God will bless you and your family. Go ahead and give. Give your tithes and offering. This is good ground to sow Absolutely. into. Absolutely. I can tell testimony after yes. testimony. Both of us being single yes. moms. How God carried us through. Man, God he didn't just do it us. just to do it. Yes. He did it because we are tithers. Because we faithful. are givers. Because we we are sowers and we are faithful. So whatever you have to give, if it's a nickel, penny, quarter, whatever your best gift, yes. gift is, give that and watch God multiply Yes, it. he will. Watch him multiply praying it. that God multiply your life. Hey, yes. and during this giving, there's a confession of faith that we say, and we're going to say it together. Okay. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. It's much money's in the house today. 
Much money is in a connection today. Much money is in your house, and you'll say your household name, and you'll see us pulling it because we're believing that thing. Yes. We're believing for you to do it in our house and in our lives. So we're on the count of three. One, two, three. Much, much money is in the house today. Much money is in the connection today. And much money is in the calling and the Duke's household today. And Jesus said, and, and, and your house. Yes, yes, and it's Dr. Saying today, and I always say it before we end the live. Nothing missing, mm. and nothing broken in your life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey, have a wonderful Super Sunday. We'll see you next week. Amen. We are Emmanuel the Connection. Yeah. Join us at the yeah. top. Yeah. Woo! Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>